Hi guys, I have some line designs to show you today. I'm calling this video Line Designs Intermediate because it assumes that you've already done um, and become comfortable with the line designs that I showed in the beginner video. So um, for this one, um, this like alteration on the basic line design, you still use um, an X and a Y axis, but maybe you notice that my um, points on my X axis are spread out a little farther than just one line each, while the points on my Y axis are spread out only one line each. So I have one, two, three, four, and so on. Whereas across the X axis, I skip one and then put a point, skip one, put a point. So that means that my x-axis is twice as long as my y-axis, and that's going to result in like a long, like a spread out sort of line design. You still do the lines the same way, where you start at the top line and use a ruler to connect it to the first line, move to the second, line, second dot, I mean connect it to the second dot, third to the third, and so on, and you end up with something that looks like that. So you can see it sort of spread out. You could also um, do this vice versa so that the y-axis is the really long one and the x-axis is shorter. So I did this um, by skipping every other line, but you could spread it out as much as you wanted. Actually, I have another example where um, I spread it out by three. So for every one line that I moved down on the x-axis, I mean on the y-axis, I moved three out on the x-axis. So my x-axis is three times as long as my y-axis. So um, just another kind of um, trick you can do with the line designs. Uh, another thing that you can do is your axes don't always have to be perfectly um, vertical or horizontal. So here I have an example where I have a horizontal axis and then instead of going straight up, um, at a 90 degree angle, I've gone out at a 45 degree angle, and I don't need a protractor for this. This is easy to see because I've just used the um, grid lines, and I've gone right through the center, like across the um, squares of the grid lines. So however far you go over, you got to go like diagonally up that many boxes as well. So I think this one is maybe nine across and nine up diagonally. Um, you could also make a regular X and Y axis and then just split down the center. So you'll end up with two um, sections for your line design here. And notice that if you count correctly, the end of your X axis lines up with the end of your diagonal axis and that lines up with the top of your Y axis. So it makes like a square, even though you're not necessarily using the, um, the, si the side or the top. So what does it look like when it's done? There you go. And again, you use the same basic pattern where you start at the top and connect to the closest to the axis and then go down one and connect that one to the second, oops, sorry, to the second line, connect to the third, to the third and so on so that they connect all the way. And then here, you just do that twice. Here's my center line right here. So I have one line design here in that 45 degree section and then one in this 45 degree section. And then taking that one step further, you can also spread your axes out so that one is um, horizontal and the other goes out so you're making an obtuse angle instead of an acute angle, and you go diagonal across. You still count up the same number of boxes diagonally that you've counted across horizontally, and you still connect like the innermost dot to the very top dot, the second dot down to the second dot over, and so on. And you can see it also sort of spreads it out. Um, you could also do this so that the it's oriented like this, so that you have a horizontal, I mean, you have a vertical axis, and then this is the instead of horizontal one. Um, so 
I hope this gives you some uh, inspiration.